Well, the slumping mold negative is finally done. It took a while, about 45 minutes, but I wasn't uh, running the feed rates all that high. I wanted to test out the program, make sure it did what it was supposed to do, didn't do anything crazy, and uh, made the shape I wanted it to make. Uh, I cut it in this cheap piece of soft florist foam first, just to double check that it's working right before I cut it in a, a harder piece of foam, which is a lot more expensive that I can use for um, use for making use it as a negative for making positives uh, in plaster so I can't really do much with this it's just a test run but it worked out perfectly it did everything it was supposed to do dimensionally it's right and you can see how it's dished out very shallowly there in the center just like it's supposed to be so this is going to be a slumping mold for slumping 10-inch uh, telescope mirrors, and this is uh, an F5 mold right here. So it's not very deep in the center, but uh, that'll save a lot of work. There won't be any more rough grinding. That'll all be done in the kiln, and then it'll just be on to fine grinding at the mirror lab if I can make this work. So I'm going to set up and. Uh, cut one or two of these in the hard foam that I'll be able to uh, wax and use as, a, as a, a positive for making a negative out of plaster and then uh, I'll put them in the kiln and see how it works with slumping. Another good day with the Calabatron. Thanks for watching. So here's the same thing cut out of a piece of uh, hard rigid foam. Uh, ran the same program on it, cut it out Give it a little bit of a light sanding. Didn't take much to get uh, some of the marks off the surface where the uh, where the tool overlapped, and uh, it's done. I just need to use the uh, bandsaw to cut it out of the waste material. I uh, didn't quite cut it all the way through. You can see where I went through one spot there. So there's just a a, a very thin. Um, paper thin bit of material holding it in place there so it didn't uh, didn't get loose and uh, it's ready it's looking good I think I'm going to coat it with uh, uh, either shellac or um, something else to maybe polyurethane would work better to uh, protect it and give it a good hard surface and then I'll start casting uh, positives off of it out of plaster and uh, put them in the kiln and try it out see how it works anyway thanks for watching bye